want to talk about a short film I recently edited called Run Boy Run. It was a university project and I want to talk about the process behind the idea of the film and the making of the film and my overall thoughts on the film. When coming up with the idea for the film, we had to base it on a conflict and we wanted it to relate to the real world, especially something that occurs in the UK to people of similar age. We used a car park, not only because it's spacious and is not much of a hazard, but we have access to the roof, which is incredibly powerful as it's seen as an ultimate dead end for our character. This idea that he can't run anymore forces our character to take up responsibility. The hardest part about making this film was being able to have slow and warm shots accompany our dramatic fast and dark shots and still allowing it to be consistent. We realized we wanted the audience to be com incredibly confused at the beginning and demanding an explanation for why our character is running. However, we don't want to just show it straight away at the beginning of the film and then watch how he reacts, but instead have the audience receive the explanation while being shown the events that occurred. This gives the audience a sense of accomplishment and appeasement when the confusion is suddenly explained. Lighting was a huge part in making this film because we weren't comfortable taking a whole lighting kit to the car park in case we got in the way of moving vehicles. To be fair, as I look back, it wouldn't have been too much of an issue, as the car park showed no sign of life. However, we were looking for a dark and gloomy location to help further represent the emotion that our character was in, and the lighting built into the car park was exactly what we were looking for. However, as we got to the top, it became a lot more difficult, forcing us to increase the camera's ISO, which ultimately hurts the look of the footage. We wanted a contrast of colour between the two moments. A cold, dark and blue filter gave us a sense of something dramatic and negative occurring, while the warm light and orange filter gave a sense of comfort and positivity, which nicely fits into the emotion of our character. I would say our biggest inspiration when it came to shots was Attack the Block, as not only does it contain chase scenes with a large number of angles and techniques used by the cameraman and the editing team, but it also made it possible to look at how the chase scene can be done without seeing what's chasing you, which, in this case for our film, was an important aspect. Uh, I would have to say my favourite part of this film is our use of transitions. We couldn't just cut to a flashback because it would look confusing and the audience wouldn't be able to keep track. But the transitions that we used with overexposing the image into a light allowed us to change the setting and time period without anything distracting or confusing the audience. What I would have changed is the length of our chase scene. After watching it over and over, I would have liked to cut it down slightly, but you still have to take into consideration that it is made of many, many shots, which are only two seconds long or lower. To conclude this, I believe we have shown that without any dialogue, we can tell a powerful and relatable story without using abstract imagery. Not only do I believe that our story is well told by our actors and shot composition, I also believe the cutting, transitions and the colour correction all came together to create an awesome story.